plastic cap. Put it in there. Put on your wire and screw it with the other hand. Make sure it's threaded right. Put a little bit of pressure on. Clack it. Use your palm to clack that. You're gonna do it for three times when I tell you to, okay? There you go. You like that? Right, that's one. Alright, reel your wire back in. Alright, squat down here. Prep. Hold on to the boom. Got the spoon? Uh -huh. Alright. Hold on to the spoon with the other hand, pull that off, take the pin out, come up. Try to make a land on the horn chain. Drag out. Oh! You guys made <laughs> he made you guys look bad. Three from each. It's just like aiming a rifle. Okay. It's on the front side post, hold your safety down and just squeeze. All right. Yeah, same fundamentals of marksmanship with those things. All right. That's safety. Fire. That, yeah, hold the safety down and just squeeze. Take, cock it up for her, push up and over. Good to go. All right. All right. Higher, what are you doing? Aim it. There you go. Short. Went to the right of him. All right, camera's rolling. Looking at my hand and rock and roll. My name is Specialist Mike McPherson. I'm with 1st Platoon of Charlie Company, 2nd and 502nd Infantry. We're out here at FOB Ramrod conducting training with the hand grenade, the AT-4, and the anti-personnel Claymore mine. This training will enhance our effectiveness in close combat on the eve of one of the largest operations in the war because hand grenades allow us a close range option when we're dealing with enemies in grape fields and close together villages. The AT-4 increase our effectiveness where the enemy normally engages us from and the claymores allow us to increase security. My personal experience with this is difficult for us with small arms to reach out and effectively hurt the enemy in his fighting positions at those distances, so AT-4s are crucial at those times.